Are you ready to move on? Let's do the next one with the trees and the snowflakes. Hey, Wish Upon a Quilt fans. So our next step is to do the trees and the snowflakes. And there's a couple of things with this one. So once you get it all centered, obviously, just like before, we're gonna use our placement stitch um, or I'm sorry, our placement guide that we marked earlier as our beginning. So you want to center your fabric over that marker that we made before. This one, as you can see, it goes right to the edge here. And so when, if you pin, just make sure to leave a little space here for the star. So there's one little, um, thing about this one, the star stitches outside of the basting box. So um, I'm not gonna use the basting box, but if you do, just, um, just know that that star is going to go pretty far over here. So when you get your, your hoop into your machine, you'll be able to see um, if you use that button that makes it show where it's gonna stitch, that this part, it'll hit into the pin so because of that star. So just be careful um, to maybe not pin right there if you pin or if you use the basting box, that'll work fine too. Um, there's also one other thing. It says that the steps are, um, there's nine steps, but actually there's 10. Number seven was left out, a tack down stitch. So that it's just out of order a little bit, not really out of order, but it's not um, on the instructions, it's not listed correctly. So um, as I mentioned before, they are gonna work on an update for this design, but this is a little, little fix, not a problem at all. So we can move on if you're ready, I'm going to move on. Um, so we're gonna do the trees and the snowflakes next. So let's get started. <laughs> 